Okay, so if you want to make your own face mask, right now it's kind of hard to find, um, what is they called, the N95 or the KN95 face masks, right? So my idea was instead of me just getting like those ugly surgeon masks, the blue ones that make you look like you're a damn nurse somewhere, I said, you know what, that's not what I want. I want something a little bit better and a little bit more stylish. So basically, in order to start making my mask, what I did was I purchased two things. So as you can see, you see these DeWalt uh, full eye cover shades. These are some typical DeWalts that you'd get. And then I just went to the 99 cent store and I purchased what you normally find during the winter, a regular winter ski mask, right? Now, here's the thing. The ski masks are really designed for winter. You know, they, they, they kind of have an insulation, which makes them a little warm, right? So the problem ultimately is that they kind of don't breathe that well. Now, as you can see, this is the nose opening right here. And if you were to wear one of those blue surgical masks right under this, it would make it so that while you'd be able to breathe through it, the only downside is that um, it kind of gets a little bit warm under here. Now, right now it's still spring, so that's not really a big deal. But um, this mask, as you can see, you can get these easily at most of your uh, clothing stores that sell winter clothing. And right now you should be able to get it cheap. This one, for example, like I have the tag right here, as you can see, it was $1.99. So I bought this for $2 and I bought these DeWalt's right here. Now, the DeWalt's, as you can see right there, you can find the DeWalt safety goggles. Those are $16.99. Now, I just bought this pair this morning and I paid about $20 for them because ultimately, it's funny, I see a lot of people wearing, say, um, they're wearing masks, but what they're not wearing is they're not wearing eye protection. Viruses can get in your eyes too. Somebody pointed out to me, they said, yeah, viruses can also get in your ears. Well, guess what? As you can see, this covers your ears because these are designed for winter, right? So if you want to wear the surgical face mask right under this, you can wear the surgical face mask, and on top of the surgical face mask, you can also wear the, um, what's it called? You can also wear uh, the glasses to protect your eyes. And um, the surgical face mask is the cheap one that's like $2. But the only de the thing that I have a problem with is if you have to keep buying those surgical face masks, eventually, uh, you know, it gets really, really expensive. So you may not want to do that. Now, my idea was to take a hard plastic mask, put it under this uh, face covering right here. And with the hard plastic mask under this, it would make it so that as long as that hard plastic is somewhat breathable, it would make it so that there's no way that the virus can get inside your body. You know, you got your face covered, you got your nose covered. Now, if you feel that this hole right here, if you wanna put something in that hole, all you'd have to really do is use a KN95 or N95 or you can make your own filter. So here's the question, how do you make your own filter? Well, it turns out that that's actually pretty easy. Okay, so I'm gonna explain how to do that right now. But right now, I just want you to see that I like these uh, shades. You can use any real type of uh, safety goggles. My only thing is I like these because these don't have, uh, they don't have any real points where you, you, know, you could uh, get much air in there. The only downside is this is really sucks to wear this constantly. So you only really want to wear these things when you're around a lot of people. Now, I can't imagine what the bankers are going to think when I try to go into the bank to withdraw some money so that I can uh, put it in my stock portfolio. I think the bankers are going to be a little bit uh, off put by the fact that I come in looking like fucking Mad Max 3 and it looked like the road warrior, but uh, that's their problem. I, I'm not there to rob the place. I got so much money in this banks. It's like, y'all ain't got nothing to say. Just give me my money. And uh, that's that. So it's kind of funny that, you know, we're able to walk around with masks and shit. Like, you know, the new world order is uh, very upset that because their face detection technology doesn't work when somebody's wearing all this shit on their face. Your face detection technology don't mean shit now. So I know they can't wait to get this coronavirus thing over. So this way they'll be able to spy on us. And right now they're trying to spy on us using cell phones and they're trying to make us download these apps and bullshit like that. So my thing is, I don't really want to do any of that. I don't want to download fucking apps. If they try to put that bullshit on my phone, I'm going to start leaving my phone home and my smartphone, my, my watch too. Because if you have your watch on, they can track that shit through the Bluetooth. But uh, with this, look at this. I, I look like, 
I look a little ridiculous, but the thing about it is with everybody else having to wear masks, you you blend right in. Normally, somebody would think you're crazy to walk into a bank or some shit with some shit like this on right here. It's crazy, right? But that's this is just the beginning of my uh, mask build. Now, um, it's okay to keep it as two pieces. If you want to have a bottom face mask, and then you want to have a top face mask, like with the safety goggles, that's probably the best way to do it. So this way you can independently wear one or the other. You can either cover up your, the bottom of your face or the top, and you don't have to do it simultaneously. But um, this is one of the cheapest options that you can get. And uh, it's probably the easiest thing you can get your hands on right now. In fact, some of you probably already have a face mask. And if you already have a face mask from the winter, all you really have to do is add like a surgical mask under it. Or you can take a coffee filter. And if you put a coffee filter underneath the front, that'll cover your nose and your mouth. And the coffee filter will still allow you to be able to breathe. Because as you notice, I've been talking a lot, so I'm able to breathe in and out of this thing. But uh, being able to breathe is the bottom line. And most of the air is probably really coming out of the bottom. So that's uh, that's basically all you really need. In some places, you have to have a face covering, especially like public places like the bus and the train. So uh, since you don't really have an option, it's like you're going to have to get something. But my thing is, it's like if I have to wear one of these silly ass masks, I don't want those surgical blue ones. So uh, this is what I decided to go with. I think it looks nice. I'm going to take a photo right here. So this way I can show it. I can show my uh, friends. Yeah, get one photo right there. Let's see, get another photo right there. Okay, very, very stylish.